Hello, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you guys in this upcoming week. This is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with my Tauruses? Okay. Taurus. What's going on around my Tauruses right now? What what is the energy around Taurus? What's the energy around Taurus? Page of Pentacles. Starting something new. Having a new idea about something. Something that you feel like is going to be lucrative. Um, that's going to bring you stability. It's the beginning of something here that is definitely your energy, I feel. Who's crossing Taurus? Let's see what else we get here. Wheel of Fortune. There's something that you feel like you want to do differently. There's something different, a different idea, um, some sort of change that's pulling you. This Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius uh, and Piscean energy here. Something that you feel like could change your life. What is the underlying issue here for Taurus? Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. You've been doing a lot of thinking. A lot of planning. And I feel like you guys are sitting on something. And you've probably been sitting on it for a while. Something that you want to do. But it's like you've been trying to figure out the right way to do it. And in doing so, I feel like a lot of times you talk yourselves out of it. Because you think about it a little too hard, a little too much. Okay? It's time to make a move, I feel. It's time to do something different. And you're thinking about it, definitely. But what's going on in the recent past for Taurus? Recent past for Taurus. The Magician. Gemini, Virgo energy. That's Mercurial energy. Again, a lot of thinking. Um, a lot of communication. I feel like there's some, def definitely something that you feel... Um, you need to make happen and the issue the underlying issue here is that there's a there's a little too much stagnancy okay you have the idea you have the tools you know you have the tools and you know it's up to you you've come to this realization so now you're at a point where you need to put that into action. I feel like some of you are wanting to make an apology for something. Something, something, your part in it. Um, whatever this is, it takes two to tango. So, you know, each of us have our own responsibility in relationships. But I feel like there's the part, whatever part you played, I feel like there's something that you want to, to initiate, something you want to, to change or something that you need to change. I know one of the changes needs to be that it's time to move. It's definitely time to move here. Okay. You're moving really slowly. <clears throat> Towards that change. Chronic thoughts for Taurus. Eight of Swords. There's things in your past that I feel like you guys replay, and it, it kind of keeps you trapped. It keeps you um, from moving. Okay, and it's not things that are like not real. It's just that there are things in your past or things that transpired in your past that I feel like um, ha have you feel like your hands are tied. Okay. That Gemini energy there. You're constantly replaying things, I feel. 
What's coming in for Taurus? What's coming in for Taurus? Mm, a lot of cards there. How many do we have? We have four. So I'm gonna leave that one and we're gonna see what that is. I'm gonna look at those though before I put them back just because. So, strength. Whatever has been holding you back, I feel like you're going you're going to have the strength to overcome that. You know, with Taurus and with Aries, um, you guys are size, even though Aries is not a fixed energy, they can be kind of stubborn and, and and hold on to what it is that they believe. I feel like you guys are learning leniency, honestly. That's that Leo energy. I feel that there is definitely an apology that some of you guys want to make, not all of you. For others of you, it's just finding that strength within to do something different than what you've been doing. Okay. Then we have the Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. I feel this is you guys really having leniency. Okay. And knowing that what's best for you may be best for everybody. And that's compromise. That's compromise here in the center with the Three of Pentacles energy, that Capricorn energy. To have that family or to have that dynamic that you're looking for. Okay. But I feel like too, you guys like are overthinking things a lot here with that Gemini energy. Like, do you want to really compromise? Were you wrong? Were you wrong in how you reacted or what you said? You know, I feel like this is all about you doing something different and reacting differently. Okay. How is Taurus feeling about this situation? How is Taurus feeling about this situation? And there could definitely be a Leo individual that this pertains to. It could also be that this person is meeting you halfway because there we saw the Three of Pentacles. Both of you guys may be moving towards each other here. This person is here. How is Taurus viewing this situation? Look at that. And the Three of Pentacles comes up again. Definitely wanting to work something out with someone. Mm -hmm. Talk things out. Compromise with this person. Listening to them and listening and, and, and them listening to you. You guys meeting each other halfway. And I think that's all that you want. But you want to be sure that this person is not going to um, react totally different and shoot you down. And then you feel like, you know, your effort was in vain. What is the influence here for Taurus? The Four of Swords. Thinking about what's best for you. Thinking about the move that you're going to make or the moves that you're going to make. You're resting. And I think you've had time to rest and kind of um, analyze things. I, I feel like you guys have done that. Because I do feel like whatever happened between you and this person, you were hurt as well. Even though they may feel like maybe you weren't hurt to the extent that they were. But I feel like you were. And I feel like you've gotten to a point where <clears throat> um, you've had time to heal. This Libra energy. Hopes or fears for Taurus. Justice. You want to do the right thing. You definitely want to do the right thing because you don't want bad karma. You want good karma. You want to plant the right seeds. That's what you want. To do the right thing by everybody involved. Overall outcome here for Taurus. I'm going to pull that one. Oh, the chariot. There's success in your story. There's a family dynamic here. There's a successful ending for you guys. 
I feel like this is all about following your heart and um, just doing what you feel like you should be doing, doing your part. That's cancer energy there. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.